my favorite of favorite guitar stores is Groon. I love this place. Since I was a kid, I have loved, um, and when I say kid, I mean like 12. Like I was probably 12 or 13 the first time I ever saw a copy of Groon's uh, Vintage Guitar Guide, and I loved it. Huge fan, and so I've always just loved this place. And so now, it's whenever I'm in Nashville, which is pretty regularly, I come here and I check out badass guitars, and I always feel inspired, and I go back to those moments when I go in guitar stores and I just feel like wonder and joy and excitement about music and guitars and I just dream of the guitars that I would love to own. So I'm gonna go in here because I am starting my new challenge officially right there buddy. So um, I'm gonna see how long it would take me to turn 500 bucks in cash into guitars and gear that I can flip and grow and snowball up to around five grand. Uh, I'm gonna go and get a kind of a more locked in number of what I actually wanna buy. I'm pretty sure I want to buy just a badass, amazing Martin. So I'm gonna go in here and check and see what they have. There are a couple that are here that I played maybe a month ago last time I was here. But great guitars fill you with wonder and joy and it's my favorite thing in the world. So let's go in Groon. What's this guy? Hey, there's a 1959 Black Beauty. The old fretless wonder. So, they're asking a reasonable, let's see, 52,500 on that guy. This is the Jason Isbell D18. Check this thing out. This is a 1952 D8 or D28 that was converted. So Brazilian rosewood, but has been converted to a 45. So we just talking to him about this D45, and this was done by Brothers Music. If you guys don't follow Brothers uh, Guitars on Instagram, you're missing out. Those dudes are amazingly talented. They're in Pennsylvania. They're close to, I think they're close to Nazareth, where Martin makes their guitars. But yeah, so this is a conversion that they did. It is amazing.
hand rubbed finish, amber tone finish, mahogany back and sides, red spruce top. Uh, this has the vintage tone system, has the ebony board, the ebony bridge, old style tuners, has the Martin uh, logo pressed in the back, and then the gold leaf up top. If you love old guitars, this is the closest thing you can get in a new guitar that sounds like a wonderfully old guitar. <laughs> to buy and sell many guitars so that I can buy this guitar. Um, it is $4,950. Uh, that's more than I have ever spent on a guitar for myself. I fell in love with guitars when I was 12, 13, and I've just oriented my life to get to where I get to play, own, and now I just want to own and keep really great guitar. So I'm Jeremy, I'm the Guitar Hunter. If you dig this video, please like, subscribe. I'm gonna start, I'm looking for stuff. We've got a couple things lined up here in Nashville that hopefully I can find and flip and start snowballing money so that I can buy this Martin, uh, the OM18 Authentic. that something meaningful <laughs> I hope that some meaningful content comes out of this video basically I just went in and played a whole bunch of guitars that I love and feel inspired by stuff one guitar that was really surprising I love Jason Isbell he's been on top of my list for favorite guitar players for the last 10 years and uh, played the Jason Isbell model in there and it's just not for me uh, which I kind of thought it might be and that's an interesting thing when you love somebody's style and you love somebody's tone and then you play their artist model and it's not necessarily what you would go for. So for me it had a big neck but it wasn't a big fun neck and it had uh, the super light top. That's not my style. I hope you realize that life is a gift and badass guitars are out there. For me life is really good when I'm playing a really great guitar and my favorite guitars are old badass Martins. That Brothers D45, holy cow, it was awesome. So anyway, I'm Jeremy, I'm the Guitar Hunter. Go find badass guitars and see what happens to your heart and your soul when you play great guitars. If you wanna follow me, I would appreciate that. Jeremy, uh, the Guitar Hunter, so at Jeremy the Guitar Hunter on Instagram, and you can find me on Facebook, at Jeremy the Guitar Hunter. Thanks everybody, let's go.